The Olubo of Iwo, Oba Abdul Rashid Adewali Akonji, is kicking against the practice of family planning in Nigeria. He says its application will er eradicate human race. Okay, so the monarch said, and I quote, there is so much more strength in procreation. We ignorantly related poverty to overpopulation. If it, if it were to be China, by now should be the most affected nation um, by poverty. But no, China is the emerging world power, getting it very right, end of quote. Using Canada as a point of reference, he said, few other powerful nations are getting it wrong for placing limits on childbearing years back. 75% of Canadians are made up of foreigners born outside Canada. In few years to come, the land may be controlled by foreigners, end of quote. He was stating that um, um, the dictate of God on more procreation should be respected by individuals willing to bear more children. Grace is great. Having more child is not measurement of poverty. Um, many rules from grass to grace. He, however, um, said education is the key and should be made free for all. <coughs> Uh, it's very interesting how he makes a lot of points but also contradicts himself because um, I, I think there is a worry if you damping the nature of procreation. I don't think Nigeria has that problem, but I think it, we have seen it, especially in a place like Canada, like he gave an example, where it can backfire if you don't necessarily promote the culture of being together, of repro um, procreating and things like that. I don't think it's, a, it's, a, it's necessarily a good place to be. Italy has had that problem where the whole city was basically empty because there were no young people there. Now they're giving you a house for, for free and a visa for and begging people to come over. So I think that there is point in that. Mm -hmm. um, but then he said education is key. Education is being aware of family planning. It, pl family planning is an, is a, uh, a way of, it, of educating I don't yourself. I that's kind of education he's talking that's about. That's what I'm saying, that he's, he is contradicting himself in a, in, a, in a way. If you're bringing this conversation to Nigeria, I think he has no standing in that regard because... I think we do have an overpopulation problem. I think people need to, I don't, I don't think a lot of families are aware of um, the, I don't want to say science, but like all the knowledge that you need in, in order to start a family, how many kids you want. There's too many women who are having children, not because they want to or they're very prepared for what's going on. They're just having sex without actually planning for children. So I think that th there is that problem here and there's a need for family planning. But then are we, I don't think we're in a place where we have a problem where we're telling people not to have kids at all or mm -hmm. have two kids. We're not saying that. We're just saying be a lot more prepared for the people, the but children that you bring But don't you think we should in. get to that point because that's where he's coming from. And mm -hmm. probably this conversation um, has started in their midst because the truth is when you come to Nigeria, aside from the government, these people, the, what they call them now, the, um, rule, there's something Monarch. they call them. Is it, isn't it monarchs? They actually have a lot of say before a lot of things are passed. So mm -hmm. there is the overnight meeting and daytime meeting that has to happen before they can actually come out to tell you this policy has been passed. So for him to come out and be saying this, I feel like the conversation is ongoing. Right. But do we have a population problem? I think we do. And maybe more so we have a mental problem where what he's saying in my head, what I'm hearing is alone, alone, Tomo. And that's what a lot of um, poor people will tell you mm -hmm. when you tell them about, um, okay, why are you still having a child when you have like six mm -hmm. and you can't even take care of the child? And they tell you, ah, alone, 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 alone. Basically, God gave us and God will take care of the child. And I think it goes beyond that because I don't think God is going to come down to take care of your child. You have to have a plan. You have to have something doing that you are sure that will take care of this child. But they don't care. They feel like I'm begging, it's fine. Um, then you that think that you want to take care of your own life have now got the responsibility to take care of those family people because they will come to you whether you like it or not. So I think I get where he's coming from, but I don't think Nigeria is at that point where you can even begin to compare us to Canada. And even the China he's mentioning have also gotten to the point where they had to say at some point, one child policy, two child policies, even if it's just some states that um, uh, implemented um, the policies, it had, it had to come to play for them to get it right. Nigeria, with us going over 200 million, so we don't we even know how many we are. I think so. Because even the people that have got this money, how many children do they have? Mm, I think it's a bit vile to be um, capping 
how many children one person should have. I think that's a bit much. If we've got to, we if we to had, if we had a China problem, maybe, but we're not there yet at all, in my opinion, mm. that we need to start telling people to only have two children. I think each family, because if you're talking about but maybe four is fine. Yes. But do you understand that four there are people who cannot feed two and they have ten? And that's why family planning comes in. So I'd rather push for family planning than putting a cap on how many children you are legally allowed family to have. Family planning is more like saying you can have this amount No, family of planning is saying for each particular family, mm -hmm. what can you control? How many children can you give the best of the best? My numbers would differ from yeah, yours. Yeah, so the caps are still put in a cap in it, like you can have more than two kids. You can no, have more than three kids. No, for my family, it's different, be, actually. I, you but can have four kids. Hand for your family, it could be that you can have three kids or two kids or one and child. Which but to put a cap there and say every sense. single family, one or two. Uh, which I'm absolutely makes sense that. because one of the major <laughs> reasons or one of the major causes of poverty, illiteracy, is having too many kids in the sense that when you talk about illiteracy, you have kids you can send to school and you're complaining. Poverty in the sense that you have more than enough kids you can cater for and then you have to feed from hand to mouth. Now, we need to look at these things when we are doing the whole biological thing and recreating and bringing more life into this world. Now, you see kids that don't turn out good because a lot of parents run away from their responsibilities. A lot of them is not because they don't want to. A lot of them is because they can't afford to. Do you understand? So they rather run away from their troubles. And but a lot of people won't agree. A lot of people would say, no, it's just who you are. But a lot of men also think about their problems. And when they see the problems in front of you, instead of people taking it head on, some people People try to avoid it. So mm. I think we should just focus on this whole family plan, which is why I don't think what this um, Oba of Iwo is saying is not. My apologies, sir. It's not really smart. Well, but I think while that conversation is going on, what also comes into play is the um, the how you grade your population. So when you look at Nigeria now, we have more of the independent population than the dependent population. So that's basically the children and then the elderly ones that are not working. But those that are actually supposed to work are actually and more that, now. Yeah. And the problem is, do they even have jobs for these people? Mm. And if the people that are supposed to be the independent population, they are also um, seen as the reproductive population as well so if they keep churning out children and there is no plan by the government to create jobs or an environment that even enables entrepreneurs to work then we are getting to a point where we should be scared because you're wondering if this next person does not have they will come and knock on your door for you to give them because it cannot China work that way canada is quite a stretch because in both countries they have a working system so mm, people i think what i think but, what he's doing with that analysis is that he's kind of making it futuristic i don't think future. yeah he's saying that those are the two how soon um, is our future like so if we start giving this type of advice to a lot of people a lot of people are not even so educated in this part of the world anyways mm. so by the time you start giving them this advice and then a lot of people tend to look at their leaders before mm. they even use like, their brain. I think this is going now, to be a very big blow misleading. on the whole family planning movement yeah. because um, even Lagos State has done a lot with that. They are not forcing it down on anybody's throats. It's just a conversation and they're telling you these are the benefits of yeah. doing it and they also tell you the disadvantages as well. Mm. Yeah. So um, this conversation or this um, That's word why it was, from, a, it was a bit confusing like him, because he started with bashing it. He started with bashing um, family planning which is extremely wrong. But then he gave examples of how um, capping numbers could be um, a problem, which I agree to. But then he ended it with saying to educate yourself. So in a way, it's all like a bit, you yeah, know. Yeah, because family planning is a personal decision. It is. And I, I think that's what we, we really need to push. I, I, there's too many people who don't understand the thing. But I also wanted to mention, though, I've, I've said it a lot of the times, when, table, when we bring to the table a problem, a lot of the times it's still poverty that's pushing it. Because what you would see is that some people are actually aware. They know that pushing this child out for the sixth or seventh time is not something that I'm capable of doing. Mm -hmm. but we have a mindset here, especially in the lower um, class, where that is a means to um, um, uh, help with poverty. So a lot of the times, you, if you have a conversation with a driver or like somebody that you work with that has act that is in that um, uh, gap, like mm -hmm. a financial gap, or whatever, the conversation is that well, they will help bring money in. So if this person sells rice and this person sells orange, there's more people to be able to bring money in. So if that conversation does not change... Except, you, except, change, you, have you, farm, except labor, you have a farm. And then you want to do child labor because when are you going to make the fruit of, of your labor? They do, they, they do which which is, they're the ones in people's houses doing house scale. They're the to. ones but on the streets. Of so course it is. Of mm. course. So that's, this is exactly what I'm saying, that we are the reasons for our problem. Like my security man, sorry to use this example, he lives in a very small cubicle, he has six kids. Mm. 
Do you understand? And I'm wondering, even there how do you sleep? I didn't yes. even there with yes, him. Yes. So how is it securing you people? How is it a security man? I don't understand. <laughs> you put it that up and have got issues, security. really. I don't understand. And I'm wondering, how do you even sleep at night? Do you understand? Mm. Do you guys sit up to sleep? Because, and you keep doing that. So when you're saying you want to rip the fruit of your labor, and the age difference is not like it's so much. One is 10, mm. like back to back, back to back. Yeah, and that's me. one of the things family planning every helps track you. Is you, it's you, you see, you, 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 we might even want to blame the lower class, but you can see it transcend even in the upper class because you hear some people who um, still sound like that. It's just a lot different because mm -hmm. these guys, you send them to school and all that type of stuff. But a lot of people in Nigeria see children as a means to retire. And it's just the same. It just looks a lot more callous with the lower class people. If you don't start to um, treat the subject of putting a system in place to eradicate poverty, for people to become more independent, their choices will be desperate and they'll have six children in one tiny apartment. Mm. And let's not forget that family planning also helps the woman live a better life. But that's another conversation. And yes, the woman should be put into consideration too. Yeah. You can't mm. just be putting somebody into putting somebody through stress like that, making them go through labor. Mm. Mm. Labor is not so much fun. Okay. okay.